The Care for Aging Sisters Association in Kenya, CASAC, is an organization that began in 2022 with the goal of caring for elderly sisters who face various challenges as they age physically, emotionally, spiritually, and socially. And it was formed as an initiative of 22 congregations in the, in the bigger umbrella body, the Association of Sisters of Kenya, to care for the needs of the Catholic sisters after long years of service who retire and many times they are also sick. They have um, dedicated their whole life to the mission of the church. So the question that we, are, we were asking ourselves at the beginning was, where do sisters go after many years of service? Despite the organization's noble efforts, it continues to face significant challenges, particularly in providing age-friendly infrastructure that caters to the needs of these elderly sisters. So our campaign is on age-friendly age convents or spaces where the elderly can rest and, and enjoy the last part of their years. Among us, there are also other young sisters who are sick below the age of 65 years and also them they are counted as sisters who need care and attention. Uh, during the last two years of course we have done a lot of renovations of the, of the environment, of the infrastructure. For example we look at the entrance, we look at the modification of the walkways, of the stairs, we look where the sisters are staying we look at um, the, 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 the accommodation facilities, we look at the sanitation, and we look even at, at um, uh, whether they have what they need, like warm water. So we try to provide some solar systems for them. And we thank God because the person who is behind us has given us these two years the support that we needed to do this. To help address some of these challenges, CASAC trained two sisters in the U.S. who have been offering educational training sessions to caregivers from different congregations and communities. This training aims to improve the quality of service and attention given to the sisters in need ensuring a compassionate and professional approach to their well-being. When one does not have the knowledge of how to care for the elderly, be her a sister, be her a lay person, we may end up in abuses in terms of we do not know the correct language, we don't know how to handle our own emotions, we don't know how to, to talk to them, especially when it is difficult moments to talk in the cases of dementia, Alzheimer, and all the challenges that are following up with the aging processes. So what we are looking at is educating and creating awareness that aging is also graceful, that aging is also a blessing and it should not be felt as a burden. When you are young, you have your own needs. You need education, you need a place to work after, after your training and you have gone through your education systems. You need your career, you need somewhere to work and you need also your necessities. When you are old, you have other kind of needs and we cannot call them burden. We have 22 congregations and the 22 congregations have given us the caregivers from each, each of their congregation. So we have trained the sisters. Initially, we sensitized them on the aging process, and now we are having the training started. We are teaching them to understand about the brains and what happens to the brain and the outcome of the brain when things have not worked out well that is dementia. So they should know the difference or how dementia comes about. And they should make the difference between dementia and what is not dementia because even when the sisters are having dementia, they can have another condition so that they may not confuse con the other condition with the dementia. Having a educated the caregivers, we are able also to go around the communities, assessing the communities, to see if they are elderly friendly communities so that they may be able to accommodate the needs of the elderly. And we have been able also to support where they needed support 
so that they may be able to continue taking care of the elderly and the elderly feeling comfortable in the same communities. So there is a lot that Kasak is going to do within the congregations and within the community. We sisters are community people. We sisters are in the country. We sisters are everywhere in the parishes. We would like to make an impact not only in the sister who is living with us, but the elderly who are around us. We are available to accompany families. We are available to accompany youth in the aging processes. We are available even to, uh, to, to, work, uh, uh, to work together with the church, wherever the priests and the bishops still need us. Sisters have always given their services to the church and have contributed greatly to the mission. As Kasek marks its second anniversary, there will be a celebration on Friday, October 11th, starting with the Holy Mass, followed by the launch of the strategic plan. The event will take place at Holy Family Basilica starting from 10 a.m. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Bishop David Kamau, Auxiliary Bishop of Nairobi. This event will be brought to you live on Capuchin TV and across on our various social media platforms. You can support us in fulfilling our strategic plan for better outreach and even for establishing centers of wellness, of uh, aggressive aging and active aging. And to carry on the training, we have a certificate in geriatrics. So we shall also be coming to you to register for those programs. We are appealing to you, our brother and brothers and sisters, that sisters, they also need your help. You can send donations through Mpesa Pay Bill number 899790, account number 100308 under the name GIFT. We have lodged out a certificate course in gerontology and we are training the same caregivers and we are also inviting even lay people, those who are interested, to come for this formal training whereby we are going to have a certificate at the end of six months. We are encouraging the sisters to go for their pensions. We are encouraging them to register them with the age, aging society, the senior citizens, so that they can get the little they can get for their medical supplies. And we are encouraging parents and relatives of the sisters to accompany them to the end and to know that the sisters also need their presence. They need social relations. Long live the Care for Aging Sisters Association in Kenya. Thank you.